Yo, it's really coming down. No, it's not. But it is a, like a drizzly ice rain. Look at all the snow. I'm about to shovel the snow. But first, I gotta run to Home Depot. Here, I'll shovel for a couple minutes. Let's go. Let's go to Home Depot. See, I gotta get a, some nails for this Milwaukee nail gun because I'm remodeling and building my studio. And you'll see why in a minute. coming up right here when I was a kid I actually lived over in this area and that bridge was being built it was there was nothing but I beams teams because they were building it just going across over the road you know 20 feet up we would we would walk across the beams like uh, evil can evil One lesson I've learned is sometimes you just got to bring the tool with you. In the process of modeling and building this studio, I've probably been to Home Depot 15 times now. <laughs> Here we are. So, this is the studio I'm still working on. No, this is taking a long time, but it's coming along. I'll put a link below of the whole process of actually building this from nothing but wood studs and beams, a drafty old garage, to now turning into an actual studio. But I'll talk about that later. Today, I'm actually building this. This is an old cart. It's just a tool cart. Uh, from Facebook Marketplace, it was like 40 bucks. I put some caster wheels on it, so it rolls. But then, you know what? My wife had this idea. My old untrapped podcast studio had this fox weathered wood. And I kind of want to put it up on the walls in here, but she had this idea of like, why don't I just put it all over the cart and wrap the cart in fox weathered wood? That way I can still get that look, right? I got two by fours and, well, let's just get to it. Wow, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to blow all this wood off with the backpack blower. So this means I have to run up to Weingart's really quick and go buy something to blow all this wood off with. Let's go. Wine guards in Utica. But why did I come here? Something I need. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Ooh. Toys, toys. Lots of toys. Look at all these toys. What is this? A BR800. My friend said that he got this one with the pull start handle. And he doesn't like it. This is a beast. They told me they had it on the phone. I just drove up here for nothing. I ordered online and I called. They said they had it. But I guess I gotta come back in a couple days and try again. I'm just pulling through these old condos I lived in before I bought my house. You know, these condos were a dream come true at one point because, I mean, we lived in a little one bedroom apartment where we couldn't even breathe and I pulled it off and it was, the rent was double, right? But at the time, I mean, I was so scared of just trying to get my business more established. And I had no place to park my trailers. There was no, I'm, I'm in a metropolis. There was no place to park anything. And so I was parking it right here on the curb, right there. And the maintenance man was leaving notes of threatening to tow my stuff, to tow my trucks, because they had magnets on the side. 
and it was so stressful. And I was sneaking in the middle of the night and parking my stuff in, in the grocery store parking lot next door and then they were threatening to tow it any minute. I remember my wife called me home from work one time. She called, I was on a job site. My wife called me stressed out because they were literally putting one of my landscape trucks on a tow truck bed. And I had to rush home and pay the guy to drop it back down and I had nowhere to put my stuff. And it was like, the stuff you go through when you're building a business it's hell until you get established and then I finally got a place where I was able to park my stuff where I paid and then both of my landscape trailers got broken into and a bunch of stuff got robbed for me it was long hard years man hmm it seems like it basically melted so I'm gonna get to work with some nice wet wood All right, now we can finally start putting this thing together. wood is old reused wood from my old untrapped podcast studio so there's some, a bunch of nails in it works good all I have is this little hammer from Home Depot because all my other hammers are in my landscaping trailer oh yeah if you're looking for a CRM software to run your business on I use jobber all the billing invoicing everything you can run your entire business on jobber software you can get a free trial and 20% off with my link, I'll put it in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a great software. I got this circular saw because I need to cut these straight lines I've never done this before. I know I gotta cut these edges off. Look who stopped by to say what's up. Yo, what do you do, big kiggity? It's Hatch. <laughs> Just come and say hi. My wife made a pot of coffee, you want some? Oh.
fuck? All right, from the top down, it looks sweet, but the bottom looks horrible. So well, this is what I kind of wanted. A workbench that I could stand behind it, actually work, do maintenance on equipment, get, you know, like tool review views and stuff. But behind here, if you come and look, I'm putting together an actual shelf down here so I can put tools down here too. I have to come back to this tomorrow because I have another project I gotta work on right now. But at least I got the bulk of it done and I'm gonna clean this stuff up. Peace.